Welcome to another Vlogmas vlog. I'm sitting in the car. It is chilly today. It's 18 degrees outside, but I placed an order for Target pickup so I don't have to go inside the store. There's a few things that I needed that my husband forgot to grab yesterday. I sent him a list of things and he forgot the half and half and like this Philo dough for the Nutella tree that I want to do. So I placed an order for a few things at Target. That way I just drive up. They hand me the bags, you drive out, so convenient. I love that they have that, it's just so nice. And then I also, instead of buying a gift card in the store, I ended up printing one at home from Amazon and love that they have that as well. I'm telling you, it's just, I'm all about the convenience, you guys. <laughs> Might as well, I don't even like have to leave my house or my car these days. But I printed a gift card for our mail deliver, mail carrier. We did a gift card for her last year. And she sent us a thank you Christmas card, which was so sweet. And I couldn't remember if her name, she signed it. And I couldn't remember if her name was Sandy or Sally. And I went digging for this Christmas card because I keep all of our cards, our birthday cards, our Christmas cards. Went through, couldn't find it. And then finally, I found it, the card that she gave us. So, moral of the story is, keep your Christmas cards. You never know when they're going to come in handy. I don't know. I've since, like... I was a teenager. I've always kept like all my birthday cards, everything, all the cards my husband would give me. I'm going to plop this in our mailbox and pick up the Target order and that's kind of how the morning is going. I ran into a bit of a problem. I'm trying to like check the status of my Target order that I placed. I drove out a little bit earlier. They didn't tell me to leave yet. I wanted to drop off some mail first. So went to go check the order and it's telling me like I have no internet connection. I went to go and make sure airplane mode is not on. Um, like I have nothing. I don't even have no 3G. There's nothing. It's just everything is like completely blank as if my phone has no service at all whatsoever. So I'm going to go see and try to see if I can like pull up to Barnes & Noble, which is within that area, and try to see if I can like hook up to their Wi-Fi. And if my phone is going to work on Wi-Fi, maybe I can check it that way because this is just super annoying. I'm not about to drive home than halfway here. Why is my phone doing that? I do have some suspicions. I feel like us women are very investigative detectives <laughs> and I have a feeling what my husband did is, I could be wrong though and then I'm gonna make a fool of myself, <laughs> but I have a feeling he disconnected my phone and bought me a new one for Christmas because he went shopping running errands yesterday um, and he was out for a long time and um, he was like checking specs on my phone yesterday for some weird reason. So, you know, us women detectives, it doesn't take a lot to put two and two together. I'm assuming, because I have no service, absolutely nothing. There's no 3G, there's no 5G, there's no, there, there's no Gs, guys. There's like no Gs. And that's my assumption. Now, I'm not going to ask him because I could be totally wrong. All right, Tarjay has some Wi-Fi, but as soon as I pull away from the door to park into my spot, the Wi-Fi disconnects because it's like so far away from the store. They have like a Target guest Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna try to circle back. I'm, I'm gonna circle back, you guys. <laughs> Let me circle back. And I feel like that's like the phrase of 2021. And I'm gonna try to, like I said that I was on my way and as soon as I said I'm on my way, it disconnected from the Wi-Fi so they can't like track your location and know where you're gonna be parked and then you have to put in your parking spot and then show them the code. It's just like this whole ordeal. So I'm gonna try to pull up by the store, park there, screenshot what I can, and try to work this out. If not, I'm gonna have to probably go inside the store and explain my situation that I have no connection. Let's try this again. I think we're gonna make it. I think it's gonna work out. Target worker just came up to me and said that my freezer items, the salad and half and half were put in a dry space instead of a freezer so they're spoiled so he has to give me new ones so it's going to take a bit longer which makes me wonder I placed the order I didn't know that things could spoil that fast I think I placed the order like less than an hour ago but it's cool safety first you guys safety first let me show you guys what my phone looks like so this is a home screen there's like no literally no service nothing 
not airplane mode is not on it's just no service so that was like my first suspicion all right i am home now i'm gonna wrap some christmas presents last minute christmas presents wrapping for my husband and my mom i came home and i told him the whole story he's like totally poker face about the whole thing which makes me i still feel like i'm right but the way he reacted it seems like he's right so what happened was he's like oh i don't know why i just like reset your phone so i reset my phone and my service came back which is so weird but at the same time it's not because i got a new phone i think last year or the year before that and we switched carriers i think it was like two years ago we switched carriers and i never got a new sim card so i've been having like spotty service issues here and there never to the point where i like lost service completely but I reset my phone and my service came back like no problem. Like the LTE came back, it's showing up again. Like it says Verizon, like everything is there. So I'm like, hmm, okay, maybe I just needed to reset my phone. He's like, yeah, uh, I mean, I don't know what's going on. Like he's totally chill about it. So I still feel like I'm right, but just in case I'm not, I don't know, we'll see. I might not find out in today's vlog, but I thought I would um, kind of include this portion. We will see, like I said, I still feel like I'm right. But I could be wrong just because of how he reacted. He was like so poker face about it. But I'm going to go ahead and actually wrap the Christmas presents. Well, I'm not even going to wrap them. I just have like a, a gift bag. I'm going to put my mom's gifts in here. So my mom came over a few weeks ago. She came over and she's like a seamstress of sorts. And she sewed her own hat. And it was really cute. So I figured let me get her like a nice cashmere hat. So I found this one from Tahari at TJ Maxx. It is 100% two ply cashmere. It's like this cable knit cashmere hat, very soft and a very good price. It was $24.99. And I also got her some gloves that she can wear to church. And these are weatherproof and touch screen like compatible. And they have like this faux fur at the top. Sorry, like the lighting is kind of dark so you can't really see, but it has like this blend of grays and browns so it will match perfectly with this so I got her that and then some hairspray products because she uses like this super cheap hairspray I personally love Joico so I got her this Joico super hold hairspray and I'm just gonna put that in a little gift baggie for her and for my dad I got like one of those Russian it's like a faux rabbit faux fur hat it's like from back in the day and I got found that on Amazon something that he can wear to church as well I like that would really be cute we'll see what they say but I'm gonna keep the tags on just in case she doesn't like it and she wants to return it. Just put that in there and then wrap the gifts that I got for my husband. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day. Um, kind of done cleaning the house. I've done that for the past two days. I bought everything that I need for holiday prep. I'm just waiting on my every plate order for Friday. Serve that Christmas the day after Christmas on Sunday is like a family lunch so I'm not sure what we're gonna do today I guess I'll just like vlog as the day goes along I'm glad I checked my planner because I wrote down yesterday what I wanted to do today and I was crossing it off and I forgot I wanted to make hot cocoa bombs so that's what we're gonna do today I'm gonna make some hot cocoa bombs just to get them out of the way you can store them they store for a very long time just because it's chocolate and literally hot cocoa it's like non-perishable for the hot chocolate cocoa bombs you're gonna need a double broiler method to melt the chocolate so I went to grab my clear glass bowl, realized I don't have it. We sold it during a yard sale in the summer. And I'm like, okay, whatever, I'll just use a pitcher. Not a big deal, and use like a regular bowl. Went to go get my silicone molds in the drawer. And I realized we sold those too. <laughs> so we will not be making hot chocolate cocoa bombs in today's video. I did order some on Amazon and they said they're gonna come in tomorrow. So if they do come in, I'll do it in tomorrow's vlog, but unfortunately not gonna do it in today's vlog. It is what it is.
gave up on the puzzle. It's kind of hard to believe it or not because there's so many colors that are so different, so similar. Like the flowers, you don't know which petal goes where. There's so many petals. So took a break from that. The kids gave up within like five minutes. But I ordered some stuff, I think last week, for the girls to wear for uh, Christmas service. Like these cute black velvet dresses with, I think they're like red sparkle flowers. No, they're not sparkly. It's, on the website, it looked like almost like it was sparkly, but I thought it would be so cute for Christmas. And I got Viana small 6'7 because she's 7 years old and I feel like their 8 would be too big. Here, try it on. I just want to see with the boots. <laughs> Let's get a full look of your cute little Christmas outfit. So cute. It's like not too Christmassy over the top, but just enough. It has like these cute little red orange flowers. Adorable. So I got the girls in matching dresses. I'm going to make some chicken tacos for the kids. I'm gonna let that cool down. My husband just went to the store to return something. So I'm gonna sit down on the couch right now. Ooh, mail guy's here. Oh, Amazon dude. I guess Josiah's cough syrup is here. Let me grab it. I say Josiah's as if it's just Josiah's, but I got it for basically everyone. And it is Mady's Organic Children Mucus Cough Syrup, drug free. They have different kinds. This one has a blend of honey. What is it? Honey, sea salt, clove, cinnamon, apple cider vinegar zinc, ginger, thyme, oregano, just a bunch of good stuff, drug free, supposed to help with cough and mucus, which is what Josiah has lingering left over from when he caught something earlier in the beginning of the week. So I'm hoping this kind of helps, helps soothe his throat. It's not good. Not good at all. So I'm going to have to bribe them somehow. We'll see. Oof. My husband went to the store to go get something he's trying to do a little bit of remodeling in the dining room and now I'm starting to think that I was completely wrong. I was convinced I was going to come home, I was going to crack him and that would be it. I would get my new phone. I don't even like need a new phone. I don't even want a new phone. But I remember getting an email saying like from Verizon and a, or a text message from Verizon saying right now they have like an $800 trade in back again so you can get $800 if you trade in your old phone which is a pretty good deal. It's not about the phone, it's the fact that I thought I was completely right. And now I feel like I was completely wrong. So, stay tuned for Saturday's Vlogmas. And we're going to find out how the situation ends.